Hi everyone and welcome to our Pit Science YouTube channel. In this video, we will be learning how to create JavaScript function to perform three different tasks. First is calculate the age in days from age in years. Second is find the number of weeks in a month. Third is get the difference to Greenwich time in hours. You also can seek to the key moment from the description. If you are new to the JavaScript or if you are just looking for a refresher, I hope this video will be helpful. So without further ado, let's get started. Namaste. Welcome to Bit Science. Like the first function we are going to create with date is uh, see the example this uh, state data function that takes the age in years and return the age in days we have to input a, as a year value which could be yeah, zero to any number and you should return days decode this thing one by one so first entry criteria is a number we have to sign if the age what whatever the value this is the parameter you're checking that should be a number okay so to check number you put that inside a number if this is a number valid number this will come into this block if not this will return something so what it should return i will say invalid number so we'll add more condition and the age so first condition is this if this is true then it will check the other condition that is how it goes so age should be more than zero i have added greater than zero so other than zero, all number will fall into this condition. What if a person is trying to enter 1000 year or or it can be a number which is not finite itself in this JavaScript. So that I have not checked in this condition. So what we'll do, we will add a condition say is finite. This method will also check a number less is a finite value. It will be within that max and min age. Fine. We got two conditions full. So this is the way we should approach a problem statement. Now you go into this. Now you think what should be the out. So, so what is logic says that if you want to change it should be 365. That's it. So this is very easy. So if you see code, you don't need to put every method and see what could run scales. It should be the out. So you can see this output. 3, 2, 7, 5. So that is that the correct one? Yeah, correct. So let's see, run all the value. So this, if I give 0, will I get 0 here? So it said invalid. So this is incorrect output. So what I will do, I will have to modify the condition. So I will say greater than equals to 0, equal equals to 0, then simply return 0. That's it. So if you just run this code, you will see 0. This is fine. See this example. Write a JavaScript function to find number of weeks in a month. See, so you will get input as a date. It can be string. It can be anything. Uh, it can be date. So it can most probably it will be string. Uh, first, you check is it a valid date? That condition of your time. Then you have to extract the month. Logically, if you think go to the December, you will see there there are four weeks. So D equals to new date. D. So whatever if you if is it a string or it is a date. It will again make a date value and it will store into this. See this condition, this statement. D equals to whatever the D I have. So I am getting get full year. I am again creating a date function. I am setting a value with the date plus I am returning the date value plus get date month plus one. And this is days. Year month and days let's say this is december so you will get left why because because it start from zero to uh, from as a starting of january that's why you have to add one so that you get a current month a is different and eight is different so days this will capture the total number of days of that particular month now you can play with that so i want to return days for that, I have to divide by 7. So, yes, because I have got 30, 31 as a days. If 31 days by 7, that is week. I will say uh, week. And then I will again model as by 7 to retrieve the reminder. So, that number of days I will. Okay. 
let's execute this output. See, I have received 4.4 to some value, but right now I need four weeks and three days. So how you will retrieve the integer part of that? I hope you know uh, there is a method with number. The method name is pass it. If you run this code, you will now you see four week three days. Okay. See this example. This example says dot green GMT time. Write the JavaScript function to get difference in GMT time. So we know get time offset will give me some uh, number, but that is not the GMT value. See this function. So Whatever that value I am validating, plus I'm uh, putting creating a date. Date fill. I'm also overriding the same uh, value parameter. Now, in there are two things uh, going. Yes, uh, still, this is minus in the beginning. So minus into whatever the value you get, that is also calculated. If the value is less than zero, I'm adding minus, and it is more than than zero plus. Let's decode one by one. We will get more clarity on this. This will give me time of setup, which is minus 30. Next condition I'm also checking minus of positive. So it will give positive value, right? So positive will give me this greater than zero. That's why plus second, this is dividing by 60. So, which is 5.50. Before dividing that, I'm also checking is it uh, more than 10 or not. If Because I cannot capture the string. So, that's why I have added this condition. If it is less than 10, add 0 in the beginning. This is extra optional, but to make GMT the standard, how it is represented. Because of that, we are adding condition. That's all for this video. I hope you learned a little bit about JavaScript. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.